Japan, being that pesky nation that had to invade half of Asia in the 1940s, meant that Australia got to acquire some interesting assets from other European colonies and territory holdovers. What this meant was the Australian Air Force received six airworthy examples of three uh, engined German flying boats, making this type of aircraft one of the only types to serve in both the Allies and the Axis. In 1936, the Netherlands government signed a contract for six Donia Do 24K1s, an aircraft that was designed by Donia to meet the Dutch naval aviation requirement for a replacement of an aging aircraft called the Donia Walls. It was to be placed and used in the Netherlands East Indies, or the NEI. Now, the Donia 24K was an all-metal parasol monoplane with a broad-beamed hull and large stabilizing sponsoons. Twin tails were mounted up swept of the rear of the hull, while three wing-mounted Wright R1820 cyclone engines provided the power. Fuel was carried in tanks within the sponsoons in the center wing section, giving a total of 4,500 litres, enough for a 1,300 kilometre range, at a cruising speed of 110 knots, about 205 kilometres an hour. Up to 1,200 kilograms or 2,600 pounds of bombs could be carried under the aircraft's wings, while defensive armament consisted of three gun turrets, one in each nose, dorsal, and tail positions. The early models were fitted with a single 7.9mm machine gun each, but later aircraft carried a 20mm cannon in the dorsal turret. The normal crew was five, pilot, navigator, and three gunners, and the gunners also performed other duties as required. But due to the invasion of the Dutch East Indies, or Indonesia as are known today, six of the completed Donia Do 24Ks were flown directly to the safety of Australia. Despite spending most of their time as training machines at the Dutch Naval Air Station in Java, the aircraft were evacuated in late February and early March of 1942. All of the aircraft were in very poor condition and needed major overhaul and repairs and modifications after reaching Australia. As such, they spent several months getting overhauled. Five aircraft that arrived at RAAF Rathmines in Lake Macquarie, New South Wales, arrived without any beaching gear or equipment. They were in such a poor state with holes and leaks in the hulls, severe electrical problems, and engines in need of an overhaul. The aircraft were then, after a series of overhauls, given the RAAF series A49-1 through A49-6 consecutively. One of the machines actually served the majority of its remaining career with the Netherlands Forces Intelligence Service flying between Australia and the Netherlands. Although, while the other five, A491 through 5, served with the number 41 Transport Squadron base at Townsville, Queensland. Maintaining the aircraft proved to be very difficult as spares were virtually non-existent because, well, the aircraft arrived without proper support equipment, servicing manuals, or even tools. All 41 Squadron aircraft spent long periods of time unserviceable waiting for repair due to the troublesome engines, electrical problems, or, for example, the leaking hulls. For these and for other reasons, the aircraft were only used for a relatively short time, and by June 1944, well, they were placed into long-term storage. And one had been destroyed in an accident. Now, sometime during 1945, the remaining five aircraft were scrapped by Number 1 Flying Boat Repair Depot at Lake Boga, Victoria. One A-frame survived the war, and unfortunately it was turned into a houseboat sometime in the 1950s. The interesting part comes out of the combat evaluation, which was undertaken when A495, which, with its Dutch crew in then of December 1941, discovered a Japanese spy ship off the coast of Australia, flew so low to uh, the ship that the wing was damaged, ripped off the mast of the ship, ripped off a pontoon, and managed to fly back to the naval base before repairs before making it back out to Australia later in March. And that same aircraft, then in March of 1944, a couple of years later, caught fire whilst moored in Darwin, undergoing electrical repairs. Fire consumed the aircraft, was only extinguished when the aircraft sank into the harbour. The aircraft was recovered and used as a parts to serve the other remaining flying boats. But despite a short-lived career in the RAAF, it remains the only active aircraft to be in service between both the Allies and the Axis powers, and served an important role in transport delivering goods all over South Asia. It played an important role in maintaining links to the outside world, but obviously due to a lack of spares, the aircraft really could not stay afloat. Subscribe for more.